Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of nine properties, including a bank sale and uh, two really well-priced townhouses and a home on a really nice Mountain View street. So let's get started. 1188 Bonin Crescent, 4399. This is a bank sale. Uh, you're going to see a home in this list that's pretty much the same size as this one on the north side of the train tracks on waters for almost 100,000 more. Now, I think they're going to struggle to get that kind of price, even though it's a nice home. Uh, this one here on Bonin uh, backs onto the train tracks. It's got a sloping hill, so it does help a bit with noise. Kids also love it because it's great for tobogganing. Uh, but the upside on this one, we've seen homes in this row sell for 470, 480 if they're in decent shape. So I have a feeling this one doesn't look great inside, um, you know, but there is some upside there. Uh, you're lucky on a bank sale if you're even getting appliances in the home. They don't warrant anything. I've sold them for the banks and I've also brought buyers. So I can see it from both perspectives. Uh, there are definitely some things you want to first of all let's break down what a power of sale is so a power of sale different than a foreclosure a foreclosure is a for-profit mentality the bank will actually try and get ownership rights to the home and claim the equity as their own with a power of sale the bank says okay you didn't pay and it could be initiated fast even after a week or two and they're gonna say you didn't pay fine we're gonna hire a realtor we're gonna pay all the closing costs every cost associated with the home the bank is going to charge the homeowner including the outstanding balance on the mortgage and the penalty but anything after that is a zero profit so any additional funds will actually go back to the owner's pocket uh, if there are any so um, they usually hold back on offers they need to prove that they've exposed it to the market and they've tried to sell it for the highest possible price otherwise there's an appeal process and so on so uh, pretty much buyer beware there's no warranties for anything there's oftentimes a, a lengthy schedule B that's really not in a buyer's favor uh, for many reasons so you just have to be careful with these you got to know that pretty much what you're getting if there's a problem after closing nobody is helping you at all uh, the lawyers will just say look you signed off on all your rights pretty much so uh, any anything you want to know about these let me know uh, I, I'd be happy to help now what's interesting about Duncan Lane is uh, it's about the same size as the uh, waters property and then also the uh, the first one on Bonn and Crescent um, 535 is the price it's about a 1600 or so square foot home uh, it's a Heathwood though and this area commands higher prices so uh, they might get this I mean I, I think this is high for a 1600 square foot end unit townhouse which you could buy if the label says Mattamy instead of Heathwood you probably buy it for uh, closer to 500 the finishes are excellent the nine foot ceiling here is something that you don't find with a lot of the builders so this actually doesn't feel once you're inside very much like a townhouse and uh, they have really done a nice job with this home. I mean, this is this is the house that your wife or girlfriend goes into. And, and not to say that men don't appreciate design, but this is the kind of house where, you know, when certain people come in, the other spouse says, oh God, I'm gonna have to write a check for this. Uh, flooring, everything's done upstairs, the lights, uh, top to bottom well finished the grass looks like somebody cut it with a pair of scissors and uh, nice yeah I mean at 535 kids would enjoy jumping on this little Heathwood uh, blocker right here um, they might get it it's I mean like I said it'd be on the high end of what these usually sell for but I've seen some sales in this area that would certainly indicate that they have a chance Next up is Ridge Drive 669. Uh, it's a side split. There was a back split that sold just down the road closer to Ontario that sold earlier this year uh, for about $100,000 less. There was one that just sold on high side for 630 that was in pretty good shape. And uh, it's a great area. Mountain View is what the series called. Um, lots of uh, big lots, 60 by 125, double garage. Uh, people take care of their homes. So here's the thing. Here's where it is. So it's this house right here uh, Employment land behind you've got C5 commercial designation here natural heritage coming through the back end 
uh, which makes it difficult to build, but that really doesn't affect this property here. Uh, and then if you look at the, actually, let's go here. Let's go to the base map. So it'll show you where the property addresses are and the error photos. So this is the GIS. I'll put a link down below. Very handy. I use this thing every day. This is a, I don't want to call it a factory, but it is a commercial building here. Uh, they've planted trees behind, uh, you know, it's, there's really, I, I know people that live back onto this and it's not a problem at all. It's quiet. Uh, the trees, once they fill in, will kind of, you know, give you a little bit more privacy and you don't really have a neighbor behind you looking into your backyard. So uh, that could affect the, the perception of value from a buyer's perspective. Inside, they've done a nice job with the home. They have uh, done a lot of, uh, there's the yard there. I can, a lot of times what happens is people will see this old chain link fence and they'll say, I gotta put something more private, especially if they're moving from the new area. So nice finishes, hardwood floors, the kitchen has some dark cabinets with stainless steel appliances, pot lights, the bathroom's been done. There's a couple uh, places where there's parquet floors, but at least it's not that honey colored uh, parquet. They've, they've sanded it and probably stained it. Uh, walk out family room, uh, direct access to your backyard, and yeah, it's a nice looking home. I think that, um, you know, they're, I think they're fighting some of the comparables in the area at this price, but you get a renovated home, the double garage on a big property, and we've seen some of those go for 700. So there's arguments on both sides of this price, uh, holding back on offers until I believe next Wednesday. Okay, so if you check the link, uh, there, there's a little drop down menu in the corner and then you're going to see that the Oakville Milton real estate board, there's two of them. We haven't really posted any of the Oakville Milton stuff in a while, uh, but there's actually two different MLS systems that real estate agents may or may not be members of. We're part of both because it's the only way to get complete information. Uh, but some agents will only list their properties on this site and not the Toronto site, which is the main one that we use because it tends to have more listings. Um, as a seller, only being on one system can really inhibit your exposure to the entire market. So sometimes what we see is it's on the Oakville and then a day later it shows up on the Treb system. But uh, 235 Bronte, 299 for a nicely renovated home. I mean, we just saw there was, a, there was a home at 371 Bronte in good shape that um, I think had five or six offers on it listed at, it was either 300 or 310. But this one and the next one are both in the same price point. So you know that five offers on that place, you got four people who didn't get it. You know they're paying attention to this stuff here. So at varying times, these homes waver between uh, very steady demand and red hot demand. And I have a feeling right now it's pretty close to red hot. Uh, the market really hasn't thrown a lot of these out. So I think there's a little bit of built up demand for them. And uh, this one here on 371 Bronte is 309, but there's no pictures. So, you know, when in doubt, chase the, uh, the one with the lower price and the one with photos. So that's the list. If you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, anything from bank sales to what's the best neighborhood to live to how much is this gonna cost me? What are the things to do first? Those are all things we can help with. And uh, you know, we, we put it out there. We believe that you lead with a giving hand. Uh, you, you just share with people. And, and what we found is that there's a lot of loyal viewers, just like you, who watch these videos a lot. And when they're ready, they just, you know, they know that they've got a friend in real estate. So have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you back here on Monday with more Milton Daily Homes. Thanks for watching.